the owner got mad at me because my son was sick. Story time. So in 2019, I was hired as a 1099 to run an artisan store. I also sold my handmade jewelry and artwork there. One day out of the blue, my son got sick. He's homeschooled, so he couldn't have gotten it from school, but maybe he got it from a bug going around when we went out shopping. He was sick. He was throwing up. So I called the owner and I let her know that I couldn't come in because my son was throwing up and I had to take care of him. She got mad at me. She literally asked if there was anyone else who could take him and take care of him. And I told her, no, I'm the only one who could take care of him until my husband got home and that wouldn't be till 2 p.m. Now at that time, she had us working the whole day, which was like 10 hours. And I was like, I cannot come in until my husband comes in home. So instead of being nice and say and sympathetic and saying, yeah, stay home, take care of your son. She's like, no, you need to come to work when he gets home. <laughs> yeah. Then immediately the next day, I got sick with the same bug that my son had. It's a mysterious flu bug. I don't know. I don't know where he got it, but I got sick with it. And so that whole night, I was throwing up. And I let her know in the middle of the night that I was not going to be there the next day. And she got mad at me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to be sick. Mm -hmm. I got rear-ended in 2022, in October. And I was in so much pain. I kept telling the owner that I could not do the job anymore and she didn't want to listen to me. She kept saying, oh, she needs me. Oh, just make it to Christmas and we'll see, we'll see. Well, I kept telling her like, I cannot do it. And then she came into the store and she's like, oh, you're not performing. You're not doing your duties. I'm like, look, I can't do it. And I had to quit. I went in January of 2023 and I had a conversation with the owner and I said, look, I am in pain. I cannot do the duties. I cannot do this anymore. And instead of being like, okay, thank you for what you've done and all of that, she started complaining about all of the things that she thought I was doing wrong. And I was like, okay, um, yeah, thanks. I do not want to work for anyone anymore. We just aren't appreciated anywhere, not in small business, not in corporations. No one cares about us except ourselves. It's true. So it took me a while um, to find something. It took me like over a year to find something that I felt comfortable in trying. Um, I've been selling on Etsy since 2013 and I have been doing that ever since 2013, but I haven't gotten the income that I need or want and desire. Um, but in March, I found a community and this blueprint and this blueprint and community are blowing it out of the water. They have made millions millions and um they're making six-figure earners every day digital growth community the digital growth community teaches you how to make a business and market high ticket digital products online it also teaches you how to make your own products and your own community and be successful Millionaires have seven, at least seven streams of income. With my two Etsy stores, the digital growth community has added four more to my income streams. So I am up to six income streams. 
and I would love to help more families. It, you don't have to be families. You could be single, single mom, single dad. I want to help more families become financially free and not have to be under the tyranny of a boss. I don't want you to have to ask for a day off and get someone be mad at you because you ask because you're sick your kid's sick if you would like to learn the skills that we learn in the digital growth community to make a hundred to nine hundred dollars a day comment ready and we can do this together